The default mode network is active during mind wandering, self-referential thinking, and when a person is not actively performing a specific task. The DMN involves many areas of the brain, as well as their interconnectivity. They include the hippocampus, posterior cingulate cortex, the precuneus, and the prefrontal cortex. The hippocampus is most associated with learning and memory, but it is also integral to making sense of the story of your life and future narrative. The posterior cingulate cortex is located in the upper area of the limbic system and is thought to be especially involved in autobiographical memory retrieval. It works in conjunction with the precuneus of the parietal lobe, which is involved in self-consciousness, memory, and visual spatial function. Healthy activity of the DMN includes introspection, daydreaming, imagining scenarios, and revisiting decisions from the past to better imagine the future. Excessive mind wandering may draw us to ruminate over past problems or have anxiety about the future. We can get stuck in a default mode of living in the past or obsessing about our future unless we train our minds to be more present. The more the mind wanders, Generally, the more attention tilts toward anxiety, resentment, and regret. According to research by Richard Davidson, the average American adult spends 47% of their waking life not paying attention to what they're doing. We can do much better. To break free from excessive mind wandering, here are three excellent habits. 1. Nurture externally directed hobbies. Habits that draw your awareness outward into the world in connection to the present moment and immerse you in activity are excellent ways to calm your mind. Creating art, dancing, playing sports, gardening, or walking with a loved one are just several examples. Playful activities to help you live more fully in the moment like a child will give you a foretaste of heaven. 2. Cultivate a sense of awe. Sustained focused attention on the beauty and wonder of creation will give you a greater sense of awe and draw you away from resentment, self-criticism, or ruminating on past regrets or anxiety about the future. 3. Meditation Daily meditation on your breath or body sensations, even for a few moments or a few minutes, will strengthen your sense of presence in the moment. You can also make it a habit to mindfully observe your thoughts as if from a third-person perspective. Instead of being stuck in anxiety or regret, we can make it a habit to mindfully observe our feelings to break free from automatic thought patterns. Finding the sacred and being present in each moment will change your self-awareness, it will strengthen your attention, decrease the stress response, and gear you more toward love and compassion. All of these ways rewire the brain to gain better control of the default mode network.